Hello, this is Tabs from tabigarf.club and I'm thrilled to guide you through the process of installing and configuring Hammer Plus Plus for Gary's Mod with a little focus on Trouble and Terrace Town mapping. Now, before we can start installing Hammer Plus Plus, you need to make sure that Gary's Mod, Counter Strike Source, and maybe Half Life 2 are installed. Then, once everything is installed, we can now install the Source SDK, and you can find it by either enabling tools in the drop down menu or searching for Source SDK in your games library. Then, you select the 2013 multiplayer SDK and you install it. While you are waiting for the installation to finish, you can download Hammer++ using the link in the description and extract the archive on your desktop. Make sure to download the multiplayer version of Hammer++, otherwise it would not work. Okay, once your SDK has been installed, you click on the little cog and then click on manage then browse local files and you will click on bin then scroll down to hammer.exe open it press ok and then once it's open you can just go right back to closing it and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your hammer plus plus folder and drag your bin folder into the source SDK folder and click on more info and run anyway and now you're gonna go on tools options and then you're gonna add two files for Gmod mapping so you click on add then you go on common Gary's mod bin and then Gary's mod FGD and for the second one you go on common Gary's mod Gary's mod then game mode then terror tile and TTT FGD next you're going to go on 2D views and check all of the boxes in the right then go on build programs and select the executable in common, Gary's Mod. Then for the compiled maps, you go on common, Gary's Mod, Gary's Mod again, then maps and select folder. Then you're gonna go on Hammer++ and go on Anisotropic Filtering, click the drop down menu, click off, and then you're gonna just close the window, press OK, then go on file, and click on new and then click on the edit menu and then run map I'm gonna name it test T once you have your menu open you're gonna click on expert then I'm going to click on LDR plus HDR full compile final and I'm going to click on executable then go on Gary's mod site so offlife2.exe and I'm gonna add the parameter dash no workshop. This is going to bypass the add-on compiling that you usually get when you launch Gmod and it's gonna go straight to your map. Then what you're going to do is go on edit and you're gonna click on LTR final copy and name your config. I'm gonna name mine TTT full compile dash final I then close the window I click on my config then I'm gonna add the parameter after game there dash game mode terror town so this is going to load the map with the TTT game mode on so you can test it with its gravity rules etc and you're gonna go back on the main source folder then go on Half-Life 2 
click on game info and what you're gonna do is go on tabbygolf.club slash gameinfo.txt and you press control A then control C and then control A and control V and what you can do for only TTT and Gmon mapping is erase all this and now you're gonna save so if you want to make a little shortcut for your Steam library, so they go and add a game, add a non-scene game, then browse, click on hammer++.exe, and then confirm it, and you search for it, and then properties, and you customize it how much you want. If you want to add banners and logos, you can go on the website steamgriddb.com. It is a database of artwork and logos for making your library more pretty and giving logos to games that don't have logos. And if you go there, you can search Hammer++ and you can see the artwork I've done there, but you can take any available. Okay, so that concludes the first tutorial on installing and configuring Hammer++ for Gary's Mod with TTT Intentions. Next tutorial, we're gonna see how to make custom textures and pack them in the map. I hope you enjoyed, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Enjoy mapping!